All right. Good morning, One Million Cups. Thank you for joining me. Uh, a big shout out to the Carter Payne and all of you that show up every Wednesday morning. Uh, this is definitely one of the most special events in Colorado Springs, so thank you. <clears throat> My name is Ernesto Fernandez, and I'm a chiropractor at Balance Chiropractic. We are a non-traditional practice focused on foundational correction. Before we get into whatever the heck that means, let me give you a brief synopsis of who I am and, and how I got here. So, unlike most of you in Colorado, I am not a native. Ha ha ha, right, shocking? <laughs> I was born in a little place called Havana, Cuba, and within the blink of an eye, I was out of there. And that's only thanks to who I believe to be the most selfless and brave people on the planet, my parents. And so, they literally sacrificed their lives to bring me to this country so that I could be raised in a better place. And when I say sacrifice their lives, I mean that in the most literal sense, because not only is it difficult to leave Cuba as a Cuban citizen, but both of my parents were in the Cuban military. My dad was actually a lieutenant colonel. And so this puts them in a position of treason in the eyes of the Cuban regime. In other words, a death sentence if they had been found. But I digress. So as I was raised in a little place called Bradenton, Florida, I got into activities that I would consider to be hood rat things. <laughs> and I don't mean that in a criminal sense, but we got into some trouble from time to time. So I got into skateboarding, and I got pretty good at it. And then I started playing guitar in a band. Um, and then I got hurt skateboarding, and I injured my knee. So I picked up the next smartest thing after blowing out my ACL, lifting really, really heavy weights. <laughs> and so I went on to graduate from the University of Central Florida uh, with my bachelor's in science. And then I graduated summa cum laude, second in my class at my graduate program in Palmer. And <clears throat> thank you. And what I learned through this journey, and there's my mom and my beautiful girlfriend who's right there. <laughs> what I learned through this journey is that I wanted to, to help people. I had a passion for empowering and teaching and guiding people to be a better version of themselves. And I did it through a very distinct philosophy that the body has this amazing ability to adapt and heal itself if we provide it the right environment, if we just get things out of its own way. <clears throat> and so that led me to Colorado Springs where we practice foundational correction at Balanced Chiropractic. What is that, right? Before we talk about what that is, let's get into what most people believe to be chiropractic, and that's traditional chiropractic. Traditional chiropractors focus on your pain and your symptoms. They focus on improving your range of motion, decreasing your muscle spasms, and they do that through traditional manipulation, popping, twisting, cracking, and other therapies. Uh, and they do a great job at that. Our approach is just different. We focus on guiding your spine back to normal by focusing on the alignment of the top bones in the neck and the head. <clears throat> So when we talk about normal, why does it matter? We know that there's normal values to things in health, right? There's a normal blood pressure. There's a normal body temperature. There's a normal eyesight. What many of us don't realize is that, is that there's also normal to the structural alignment of the spine. And why does normal matter when we talk about the spine? Because the brain turns into the spinal cord and then all the nerves in the entire body at the very top bone in the neck. And this system is called the central nervous system. And this system controls every function of your living body, your breathing, your digestion, your blood pressure, your movement. And so when the spine is in a normal position, it allows the brain to communicate with the body properly. And two, it supports the weight of the body and gravity with you, by using the least amount of energy possible. <clears throat> and so what were to happen if the foundation of your home had shifted out of its normal position? Or maybe the, the frame of your automobile was bent. You'd expect secondary problems for these things, right? In a home, it might be a leaky basement, damaged drywall. In your car, it might be uh, that, that the tires are wearing down faster, that there's rattling under the hood. You can imagine the same mechanism occurs when the, the foundation of the body shifts away from the normal accepted range. <clears throat> so at our practice, we look for a three-dimensional shift in your body's foundation. And... <clears throat> And that's when the head and neck shift out of its normal position. This is the primary condition that we look for. And when the head and neck shift out of position, it can cause the shoulders to twist, the hips to shift out of position, and it can really force the whole spine out of alignment. And so this is the primary condition that we work with and many times the underlying cause to secondary conditions or symptoms in the body. And how does that happen? How does this cause health problems? Well, when the head and neck shift, you have decreased blood flow in and out of the brain. You have this abnormal stretching on the spinal cord or the central nervous system. You have stress to the disc and ligaments from the, the compensations throughout the whole spine. And you have this distorted signal between the brain and the body, probably the most important part. 
And visually what that looks like is postural imbalances. <clears throat> and so here's common secondary conditions that we've seen result from a shift in your spine's foundation. And also conditions that we've seen respond from what we do with foundational correction. I'm not going to go through all these, but some of the most noteworthy are migraine headaches, dizziness, face and jaw pain, etc. And when the head and neck shift, it can also lead to this anterior head syndrome, that head that shifts forward. You've seen that probably in the elderly, but now you see that in millennials whose faces are glued to their phones, laptops, and screens, right? So this is not a healthy position for the spine. We don't realize we have this bowling ball that sits on our heads. The human head weighs 8 to 14 pounds. Every inch that the head shifts forward adds 10 pounds of stress on the actual spine. <clears throat> so this is not a chiropractic or a healthcare concept. This is a physics and gravity concept. We do offer a complimentary consultation at our practice, which is just a conversation to see if we're a good fit for each other. This is not a, a high pressure sales tactic. This is not an exam. That's it. I figured. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yes, ma'am.